Welcome to our lecture online. Our next challenge is to figure out how much the time will change in a watch when the temperature changes. Now in the old days we had watches that were wound up and that were driven by an oscillating disc and so the oscillation of that disc would then drive the time. So let's say we have a brass ring like that that has a moment of inertia mr squared and let's say that the coefficient of linear expansion is 2 times 10 to the minus 5 percent centigrade degree. Now we realize that the period of oscillation is proportional to the square root of the moment of inertia which is mr squared so r squared take the square root r comes out m is a constant so essentially the period is proportional to the radius of that brass ring and with the change in temperature the radius will change. Now notice that they tell us that the watch keeps correct time at 30 degrees centigrade that would be when it's connected to your wrist and of course your wrist is about 30 degrees centigrade and on the outside that would be a typical temperature and so when the watch is removed from your wrist and the temperature drops to 15 degrees what will be the change, what will be the error per day? Now notice that the temperature decreases. As a result, R will decrease. The radius of the disk will decrease. Now, as the radius of the disk decreases, then we realize, therefore, the period will decrease. Which means that that oscillating disk will go faster and faster and faster. Of course, when it goes faster, the clock runs faster and the clock will run ahead. How many seconds per day? Well, let's see how much the period will change, and that means we need to find the change in R. So we can say that the change in the radius is equal to the original radius times the coefficient of heat expansion times the change in the temperature. So this would be equal to, well, whatever the original radius is, times 2 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree multiplied times 15 uh, centigrade degrees. All right, because that's the delta between 15 and 30. Let's see here, that would be 3, well, 3 times 10 to the minus 4. So that would be equal to R, initial, times uh, 3 times 10 to the minus 4. And the centigrade degrees cancel out. So that would be the change in the radius. And that means that the new radius, uh, R final, will be equal to our initial minus the change because the decrease in temperature means that the radius is going to shrink and so that's going to be equal to we can factor out an r let me write like this first our initial times our initial times 3 times 10 to the minus 4 factor out an r so we say our final is equal to our initial times 1 minus 3 times 10 to the minus 4 and that can then be written as our initial times 0 0.9997, like this. Okay, now that we have that, we now have a relationship between our final divided by our initial is equal to 0 0.9997. So let's see how much a difference that makes, that kind of change in the radius, which means that kind of change in the period. So we can say that period final over period initial, because we have the linear relationship, would be equal to that number. Now if we take the number of seconds, 86,400 seconds per day, that is if the clock runs normally, but now we're going to multiply that times 0 0.9997. Let's see what that is. So that would be the new number of seconds per day. Of course, those aren't real seconds. Those are the watch of seconds, not the real seconds. But let's see how much that changes. So um, 86,400 times 0.9997 equals 86,374 seconds. So 86,374 seconds. Notice that the delta time is equal to 86,400. Oh, got ahead of myself here. 86,400 minus 86,374. That, would, of course, would be in seconds. That would be equal to 26 seconds. So, in other words, the watch would run in error 
26 seconds per day, but the question now is, is it ahead or, or behind? Notice since the oscillation is faster, that means that a day on the watch will be this many seconds, so the watch will be 26 seconds ahead. Each day. And so it used to be that every few days, people would take their watch, and if they had the accurate time, they would have to readjust their watch, because obviously there were lots of differences when the temperature changed in how fast or how slow those watches ran. And that is how that was done.